Welcome back to the Vehicle Brick series. Today we are going to look at controlling a servo motor. We will first connect the servo motor to the Pico Bricks. We will then open the Pico Bricks Lockley editor and code the servo motor to turn to 90 degrees, then back to zero. Let's get into it. Before we get into coding the Pico Bricks and the servo motor, we first need to connect the servo motor to Pico Bricks. So we'll take our servo motor here. The first thing we'll do is open the little bag that comes with the servo motor and we'll use this little blade here. This will make it easier for us to see when our servo motor is moving. We'll just connect that onto here. So once the servo motor is on like that, as you'll see here, we've got the three wires going down to the connector that we need to connect it to the Pico bricks. So make sure the yellow wire is on the inside here. This is on the left. And we're connecting the servo motor on the motor controller up at the top here. So on these three pins here. And we also need to make sure there's a little plastic jumper here. We see this pin on the left here is empty so we need to move this jumper wire over so it's covering the first two pins the way it was set up before it is set for controlling the hobby motors which we'll come to later so now we want the right hand pin to be blank so now that we have our servo motor connected to the pico bricks as we can see here we're now ready to jump over and we can start coding. Once you've opened up your favourite web browser, in the address bar type ide.picobricks.com And once the IDE page loads, we'll want to click view more on Pico Blockly. So now we're in the PicoBricks editor, we want to click on basic, I want a PicoBricks block. Next we need a forever loop, so we'll click on loops and click and drag the forever block and attach it under the PicoBricks. Next we click on motors, I want a servo M1 block, I want to change the M1 to M2 and change 180 to 90. We then want our weight blocks and click back into loops and want the weight one. Next we need another servo block so we can right click on this one, click duplicate and we'll attach that onto the weight and we'll change 90 to zero. And we want another weight block so we can just duplicate this one and attach that under the set servo. If you've enjoyed the video so far, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. This lets YouTube know that you're enjoying the video and will show more people just like you. If you want to support Raspberry Kid in a more direct way, buy us a coffee at the link here. This will allow us to make more videos just like this. Let's get back to the video. So this is our completed code. So when we run our code, it will tell people bricks to run. The code will run forever. The servo will turn it on and turn to 90 degrees. It will then wait one second and then it will turn back to zero degrees. Wait one second and go back to 90. Let's run our code and see what happens. Just before we run our code, we'll need to connect the Pico bricks to our computer. 
So click the little connection button here. Want to pair the board in FS mode and click connect. So now this little connector is turned red. When we press run, we can now see the server move between 90 and zero degrees. Well done. You have just learned how to connect a servo motor to PicoBricks and control it through code. Come back for the next video where we will be using the button, the display, the buzzer and the potentiometer to create our very own music player. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy coding.